Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 63. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, and this last weekend was Thanksgiving weekend here in the U.S., so I was crazy busy. <laughs> if you watched the uh, weekend vlog that I just put up yesterday, I think, uh, you will see that since pretty much Thanksgiving morning to yesterday night, which was Sunday the 25th, which is a month from Christmas, but <laughs> we were going like nonstop. Uh, we just, we had all kinds of places to go and people to see, and then we had some activities that's bringing in the Christmas season and all that, so that's why I haven't really been putting out any videos because I've been crazy busy for the past couple of months. <laughs> but um, now that the weekend's over and Jesse's at my mom's house right now, I thought I would sit down and film. And you may see some more videos this next week in the same setting or in the same outfit. And it's because I'm going to film them all today and uh, edit them and get them scheduled for later this week. But, uh, yeah, so I wanted to hop in here. Uh, I can't remember the last episode. I think it came out last Wednesday. So that's not a full week. And um, I do have some finished objects, though. I did finish my hat. Je I made Jesse's hat, and then I finished his sweater. Um, almost completely, yeah. I'm still thinking about decorating the little gingerbread house a little bit more, but I'll show you that in a second. So I did get some crocheting done on those. I finished those all on Friday uh, evening and night because, wait, was it Friday? Saturday, Saturday evening and nights because I needed them for Sunday to take our Christmas card photos, which we didn't end up getting to do because by the time we got back from our activities that day, which we went to the Knoxville Zoo, um, it was too late in the day to take photos outside. It was dark. So yeah, but um, so I have three finished objects and I have two whips and they're exact same whips from last last week, I almost said last year. I have uh, one acquisition, uh, a couple ac acquisitions I guess, but from the same package. And that's about it for today's episode. Uh, it's gonna be kind of short, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in with the finished objects. I'll start with like the simplest one first. <laughs> this is the hat that I made Jesse for our Christmas card photos, which we are going to be taking this coming weekend. We have to take it this weekend or we won't be able to get them printed and sent out, you know, in a good time frame for Christmas. <laughs> but um, this one, I didn't do the entire pattern. I, I was gonna do the elf ears, but I decided to just leave them off. So it's basically a stocking hat with a giant pop up on it. But the pattern that I followed is this here Santa's Helper el Elf Hat by Met the Make Do Crew. Oh, oh. Keep messing up. It's a free pattern. And they have it in every size from newborn to adult. So it's cool. You know, you can make it for everybody in your family. But this is it. <laughs> this is slightly big for his head. I followed the pattern too. And this is untrimmed. I didn't trim it. But um, I don't know if it's my gauge that made it bigger because it kind of fits on my head. Like I could stretch it to fit on my head. But it fits on his head well enough that for pictures and him just playing, you know, running around in it, that it's okay. But I could actually add a few more rolls to it and it could become a hat for me. <laughs> but I think it's super cute. And it looks adorable on him because he's, you know, he's two, so he's short. <laughs> and this pretty much goes down to his butt, the pom-pom does, but it's cute. Uh, the colors are Red Heart Super Saver White, Hot Red, and Spring Green. Really simple hat. It's just double crochets. You start down here at this the pointy part and work your way up increasing and the pom-pom I made with a pom-pom maker I didn't trim it because I didn't think it really needed trimming I think it looks cute uh, rough you know it just looks cute on him rough I don't know <laughs> but yeah I like this hat he likes it he ran around it after I made it so but yeah that's for our Christmas card photos and Devin's was the pudding hat that I showed you last week. And then my hat is this one. <laughs> my hat, I also followed a pattern, kinda. I messed it up. I couldn't get the right number count, so I kinda winged it. But the pattern I was originally following was the Silly Christmas Tree Hat by Posh Pooch Designs. And it is a free pattern. And she's got a written pattern and a, t a video tutorial for it. But then I also went to the Dollar Tree and bought some stuff to put on it to make it crazy. So I bought some glittery stars some bows with bells on it and then like a this is actually a necklace because i didn't have any of that garland that's beaded but i went ahead and bought it to use it as that so it's beaded garland wrapped around it and it has three jingle bells on it Ta -da! this is my christmas tree hat for our christmas photos 
it jingles because all these little bows have bells on them and then the necklace has the three on there and uh, since this is my own hat and I don't it doesn't need to be like sell worthy I uh, hot glued everything on there <laughs> I got a ponytail on so it's not fitting the way it should but there it is <laughs> I think it's cute <laughs> It's crazy, but that's the point. It's supposed to be a crazy, ugly hat to go with my crazy, ugly sweater. But yeah, I just stuck a silver star up there it's for the um, the star on the tree. <laughs> I think it's cute. Pretty good for last minute because it was decorated last minute. I just didn't end up getting to use it that day. So I, I would have had more time to do it if I had of Like if I had known that I wouldn't have been able to take our pictures on Sunday I would have spent a little bit more time on the decorations but I still think it's adorable anyway <laughs> but the colors for it is uh, the green part is red heart something green hunter hunter green was a hunter green I think it's hunter green and the brown part is chocolate and this is uh, double stranded to be like bulky you can use bulky weight yarn obviously but I just double stranded listed weight that's what I have on hand. I have a ton of worsted weight. Yeah, I think it's cute. It's really loud, which is funny. All right, my last finished object. I actually had the base of it done last week, and I got two appliques sent to me for it, and then I made one for it. And um, this is how I was taking it that day, and I was, I'm fine with the way it looks now because I, th I still think it's cute. But since we're going to have a few more days before we have to take our pictures, I may go ahead and add a few more things to it uh, decoration-wise. But I don't know. I may not. We shall see. But the sweater is the Next Generation V-neck pullover by Lime Brand. And it is a free pattern. I think they got a couple of different sizes for it. Uh, this one I made is actually a little small on Jesse. The arms are. But I don't think it's a big deal because it's just for um, the pictures. And then he'll probably never wear it again. So, uh... But I showed you the sweater last week and the appliques that were sent to me. But here's the sweater put together. It's got jingle bell bowls on the arms. And then it's got the Christmas tree and the Santa being stuck in the sleigh. Or not the sleigh. The chimney. On the gingerbread house. And then I did make the gingerbread house. Uh, without a pattern. I kind of looked at a few pictures just to get an idea of what I should do. <laughs> and uh, I winged it from there and I did some more of that um, surface crochet which I'm really starting to like because it's it's really good for things like this to add detail without having to sew things on um, and deal with in you know well I mean you have used to have ends but you know what I mean like having to sew them on and getting them to look right and all that but this you just kind of it's almost like writing on the crochet you just do it with the yarn and hook instead of you know a marker or whatever <laughs> and then these are little ornament things I guess they were at the Dollar Tree also and I just <laughs> glued them on there I thought it was funny I think it turned out super cute though even without a bunch of decorations I wanted to get little pom-poms and glue her on there to look like um what are they called gumdrops but the Dollar Tree was completely out of them and it was Saturday night I had procrastinated to that long I didn't want to have to run all the way to Walmart to get them so I just was like you know what I'm just gonna leave it how it is and it'll still be cute but since I do have more time and I have to go to Walmart tomorrow anyways to get some bananas. I may um, see if they have some pom-poms that I can glue on there. Just to kind of look like um, gumdrops. And possibly find, try to find something to make it look like snow. It's up here in the sky. <laughs> I don't know. But I think it's cute. I thought about adding some red um, to the cuffs. One to make them a little bit longer. And two to kind of go with mine and Devin's sweaters because they both kind of have borders of red on them so I thought about doing that just to add it I'm not sure yet if I will I think it's fine how it is but if I add anything to it it'll just be extra so yeah I think it's gonna be cute and he's cute in it I tried it on him after I fixed all the pieces on there just to make sure it fit and that they set in good spots and they do so yeah we're gonna be jingly okay that's all my finished objects and um the only whip that I have that's considered an active whip is still just these little um, puddings. These are the two without the leaves and berries on them. I have them made, 
I just haven't sold them on here just because we've been so busy this weekend. So all I got to do to finish these is sew on the holly on top of it to finish them up and um, then put a little hook thing, those little metal hook thingies in there on it. And these will be done and ready to go to my family um, in a few weeks whenever I see them next. <laughs> well, let's see here. Yeah. My sister and my mom will get them right away because they live really close to me. But my brother will probably get, won't get his until Christmas Eve <laughs> when we're all at my sister's house for Christmas. But, um, yeah. So I just have to finish them up, which I can do that here in a little bit if I can remember to. <laughs> and uh, that's my only active whip. I do still have some uh, hibernating whips in there that I need to get back to. And I probably will pick those up after Christmas like end of December or early you know starting in January and that's the shawl I was making for my mom there's a corner to corner baby blanket that I was making just because and I think there's something else oh there's another hat for Jesse in there that I was making before I made him the Grinch hat in this Christmas hat so um I can I'll probably end up frogging it really because I think all I made was the brim and uh yeah I'll probably just frog it and <laughs> not worry about making him more hats until next winter there's another whip that I need to start this coming week like as soon as possible actually maybe even today <laughs> and it's for my sister she bought a pattern a nutcracker pattern I can't remember what it is and I don't have it pulled up but she wants me to make it for her just for her to have as a decoration at her house so I need to get on get started on that and then actually I do have another thing that I'm going to try to make soon and it was something that I got through the mail but um, so this will take us into acquisitions. <laughs> the only acquisitions I have this week are, um, what's it called? Prizes from doing a cow. I participated in Nicole's cow over at Durab. <laughs> I'm always afraid I'm gonna say that wrong. Um, does creations, <laughs> not designs, creations. Uh, she had a Halloween cow going on for, I think it was like a whole month or a month and almost two months I can't remember now but I participated a lot in it you guys seen it a lot I um, I don't even know how many things I made for it. I made a bunch of things decorations and stuff for the house and uh, I ended up being one of the winners and she sent me um, the prize and it just got to me because she lives in Canada and there she lives in Canada which is far away but she also also in Canada they're having like a mill strike there I think it's called rotating mill strike or something like that so uh it took a little while to get here but that's fine i don't mind i actually forgot about it so when i saw that there was a package in my p.o box today in my email i was like oh i wonder what that is so when i got it it was you know a surprise so it was cool but she sent me a card and it was in this envelope with some washi tape on it and this is the card she's hand stamped it got uh ravens on it and it was just you know a note and so what I won, if you didn't see it, or if you did see it, here's a refresher, was this little bag. It's not meant to be a um, project bag, but you know, any bag can be a project bag, and that's what she said too, you know. It would be a cute project bag. It's got a giant zipper on there. Look at that big old zipper. <laughs> but yeah, so it's, it's pretty big, actually. It's yellow on the inside, and it's got like a little pocket right there. I think it's cute I'll either use it as a project bag or just as a bag to carry like my wallet and a couple diapers in and uh, a pair of pants for Jesse <laughs> he always spills something always without a doubt actually I've learned now that we take at least two extra pairs of pants everywhere with us including you know and then the pair that he's wearing because he always spills his drink or he sits in something or we go to a playground and he goes down a slide and it's wet and so we always have to have pants <laughs> Plus, once he gets into potty training more hardcore, he's going to need them, I'm sure. But, yeah. So, it says it's organi organic washable. So, that's cool. But, uh, I think it's really cool. It's kind of like a doodle book, almost, is what it reminds me of. Like, um, like in, when you're in school and you're just bored and you're sitting there doodling. <laughs> but, also, on top of that, she sent me a little kit from Simply Crochet Magazine. I think this is one of those that's just included when you buy a magazine. And it's for a pattern for this little dude. I can't show you all that because it's got him on there, or the pattern on there. And it came with this little tiny, little teeny tiny crochet hook. It's a wooden hook. It's a 2.5 millimeter hook. You can't even see the hooky part of it, but it's there. <laughs> and then this little envelope, which has all of him in it. 
I want to try to make this. Oh, so cute. Oh, it's like so bobbins. That's so funny. All right, let's see here. It came with safety eyes. A little piece of felt. And this little piece of felt is for his the white of his eyes. And black string, which is... Oh, this is for the embroidery part on his belly. The felt's also for his belly. But like right here on his belly, he's got stripes on it. That's what that's for. And then it came with two giant bobbins. These look like the ones you use for um, embroidery floss of the yarn. <laughs> that's so funny. But um, the purple and green for his body. Yellowy green is kind of a greeny yellow. I'm not sure what color that is. But yeah, that's so cute. And I'm actually going to make this because I want to see how small he is. Because for this little amount of yarn and that tiny, tiny crochet hook right there, he's got to be tiny. <laughs> what does it say? Approximately three and a fourth inches tall. So he's going to be tiny. That'd be so cute to like make him and set him on my shelf. I don't know if you've seen my shelves in uh, any of my videos, but me and Devin each have a shelf. One of those square shelves. I don't know what they're called. But we put toys in it that we find at their stores that we like. And it's usually like nostalgic toys that we remember playing with when we were kids. Or just of movies and stuff that we like. And I actually need to rotate mine because I have a whole box of toys in the closet that I need to like rotate to <laughs> let them all have shelf time. And uh, he'd be cute sitting up there. Anyways, that's what I was trying to say is he'd be cute sitting up there. I love these giant bobbin things though. Those are so cute. <laughs> but uh, that's really soft yarn too. I don't know if it says what kind of yarn it is. But it's super soft and squishy. But yeah, so I love that. I can't wait to do that. Thank you, Nicole, for, you know, I know she didn't pick me as a winner, but for drawing me, for having the giveaway or the crochet along, and for letting me participate in it. So it's awesome to win. Thank you. And I can't wait to do it again next year. I hope she makes it an annual thing. She said she might. So, and I love Halloween. So if she does make it annual, I will for sure be participating in it next year. <laughs> that is all of my acquisitions, though. Um... That's really everything I have to talk about. Like I said, it's going to be a short episode because the holiday weekend I didn't have a lot of time to crochet and stuff. Other than things I had to get done, but then it ended up not needing to actually have done. <laughs> but, um, so the next episode, I'm going to try to get back on doing it on the weekends on Sundays because it's usually easiest for me to film on Sundays. Um, pick up this monster and put him back in his bag. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to try to get the next episode to come out next Sunday. Now let's see here. If you're interested in Vlogmas, it, it will officially start, I will film this Friday and the video will come out Saturday because Friday is November 30th and me and Jesse are going to a Christmas thing that day. Um, we've been going to Train Tales. If you watch the vlogs, you would have seen some of it. It's where we just go to the Train Depot Museum here and uh, they read stories and do activities. This coming week, they're doing a Christmas one. Some kind of book about red mittens. I'm not sure what it is for sure. But they're giving out all the little kids red mittens. So I'm going to take him to that. And then the next day, December 1st, at the same place, um, they're having Sa Santa Claus is going to be there. One of his reindeer is going to be there. They're going to do games and they're going to have snacks and, you know, just stuff like that. It's an open house. And I want to take him there to get pictures made with Santa if he will cooperate. <laughs> and um, I don't think there's anything Saturday night other than the Pokemon Community Day. This month it's three days long. It starts on Friday and Saturday and then Sunday. Um, and I there is something on Sunday, but I don't know for sure if we're going to go to it. Uh, the town next to us, which is a bigger town, is having their Christmas tree lighting ceremony. And we might go to it, but we went through it last year. <laughs> Uh, we were in town for another reason and they were doing their Christmas tree lighting ceremony and it was full like probably within a mile of the park that they do it in was full parking and people were walking to the park from there um, to go to it because it's a free event and they have you know snacks and hot chocolate and Santa and this year I think they're setting up a carousel with free rides and um, just all kinds of, you know, just free stuff to get the community all together doing Christmas stuff. Um, I'd like to go to it because I love stuff like that, but I don't think Devin's going to want to go to it because of all the people. And uh, plus, if it's super duper cold, I won't want to take Jesse out for long. But I don't know. I'm sure we'll find some stuff to get into because I always do. And so Vlogmas should be 
pretty Christmassy this year. I got a whole list of things on the calendar that I'd like to try to go to throughout December. But closer to the end of December, I will be babysitting. So, um, you know, I won't be able to film a lot of at-home stuff because she'll be here. But uh, all the out-of-the-home stuff I should be able to film. And then also for Vlogmas, I'd like to do uh Ravelry tutorials I've had a couple people ask me for specific things so I'm going to try to film some of those soon and get them out and one of the first vlogmas videos in the earlier part of December is going to be Christmas pattern roundup I've already got that together and actually I'll probably be right here because I'll probably gonna film it today <laughs> but it'll come out um, sometime the first week of December more than likely or next weekend I'm not sure <laughs> but um, yeah and what else I don't know I'll have to figure out a lot of it as I go <laughs> they might be some crocheting chats because I haven't done that in a while I honestly haven't had the time for it I want to start another blanket this is the mandala madness behind me but um I kind of miss having that big giant project that I work on in between other projects or when I'm just sitting watching tv something that you know like this uh it looks big and complicated but you know every row was the same repeat eight times I think it was so I like that because I can sit there while watching TV. I can remember memorize the repeat and then I can just sit there and do it eight times. And uh, I want another project like that. So I know there's a Sophia's Universe and there's a couple other ones. There's one that actually got gifted to me in the um, Get Your Yarn Wish Granted thing on Instagram. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a flower garden one. I really want to make that. I think it'll be so pretty on the couch <laughs> next springtime so I may start that soon I don't know I kind of want to make the peppermint throw um, from the crochet crowd and I kind of want to make another snowflake one because <laughs> I have a ton of light blue I could make it light blue and white instead of um, my original one I'm looking at it it's over there <laughs> is like a navy blue and white and I don't know it's just all kinds of blankets I want to make <laughs> I love making blankets I also love making amigurumis and speaking of amigurumis I'm babbling a lot if you've already left I'm sorry <laughs> but um I uh I forgot what I was saying oh yeah I'm thinking about doing the Earth Day event next year with my own table last year I participated a little tiny bit I was using some of my stuff was at a person I know's table I only sold one thing but that's okay um I'm thinking about actually renting my own table this year and setting up just amigurumi because last year there was one other crochet booth that was just all crochet and it was just baby blankets and um hand towels with crochet toppers and then there was a few booths that had crocheted and luminate hats but they were other stuff and just happened to have hats too so i i, I thought that i would uh rent a table and set it up as just an amigurumi table and I would have some big amigurumis and then a bunch of little ones and some really small ones that are really cheap uh, aimed towards kids because you know if a kid if a mom gave their kid ten dollars to spend at the uh, event they could come to you know if they walk by my table and see cute little animals they might want to buy them <laughs> and so if a kid has pocket money they can buy little animals and I get sales and they get happy with a little toy so um plus uh you know gifts I could I was, I was thinking in my head that I could make little signs I uh, have my sister help me because she's good at making paper crafts little signs um you know promoting what things are for like you know, these, these would be great gifts for kids or these would be good um favors at a kid's birthday party you know throw them in one of those little bags with candy in it things like that you know and maybe even I thought about making some like uh cup cozies not necessarily coffee cozies because it's the earth day thing is in late March so it's already like warming up <laughs> here but like actual cup cozies and um uh, soda can sleeves <laughs> whatever those are called because uh, that would be a big thing around here and yeah I was just thinking stuff like that things that I think would sell have more have a bunch of low cost items and then a few bigger things in case someone you know wanted to buy a big expensive doll <laughs> but uh, mostly have a bunch of little things like I have a bunch of patterns bookmarked on my Ravelry for it that I want to make and my plan was to make like 10 through 20 of each of those in different colors and take them because I think in my area at least um, people walking around at a shop like that 
they're mostly there to buy other things, not amigurumis. But if they have, if they see a table full of the little cheaper ones, they're more likely to buy them at the cheaper price than if I had just a table of the big amigurumis that are going to be fifty plus dollars because of the time and materials it took to make them. So I think the little stuff would sell better here. And obviously in the springtime, hats and stuff wouldn't sell that good. I don't think here. Because I live in Tennessee, so it's hot more than it is cold ever here. <laughs> so, uh, like the best time to sell hats is in winter. That's actually, uh, most of the hats I do sell is because of Devin wearing his when he's at work and stuff. The men there see them. And uh, I sold a bunch that way. <laughs> Anyways, that was a long <laughs> um, sidetrack. But, uh, yeah, I was saying that this was everything. There's one more thing I want to mention. The last thing I want to mention, I'm glowing because my laptop's in my lap. <laughs> I need to move that a little bit. <laughs> but, um, is my friend Dolly over at Moonfire Crafted. She's got an active Instagram and her YouTube channel, which I'll link both of them below if I can remember to link both of them. For sure her YouTube channel will be linked below. <laughs> but she's hosting a crochet along. It's actually starting today, which is Monday, November 26th. <laughs> um, and it's called the you can't catch me cow I keep on saying catch me if you can't cow but it's you can't catch me cow and what she did is she made bases of like a little gingerbread dude and a little snowman dude and the cow is for you to make those bases but then decorate them you know decorate the snowman to look like a snowman decorate the gingerbread man to look like a gingerbread man but in your own way you know you could use any craft that you wanted to use or you could just make applique crochet appliques you know whatever whatever floats your boat and then enter them into the cow. And she, uh, over on her video, she talks about how to enter them and all that. So if you want to hop over there and check that out, you can. But uh, the patterns are paid for patterns for the bases. So you can uh, buy them and then design it your own way. Uh, that way everybody's is unique, you know, and interesting. And then you can get like kind of ideas off of other people's of how to decorate yours if you wanted to. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that real fast. Um, I'm really hoping to participate in that cow. But I'm, I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to have the time to just because of our calendar is so full for this month. But if I do have a chance to, I definitely will be. And if anyone else does, um, also, you know, uh, when you share it onto her cow, obviously, also share it onto my Facebook group so that I can see it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that is everything for now. <laughs> now that I've done rambled and made this video even longer. Seems like every time I say it's going to be short, I end up talking a whole lot, making it long. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it, share it. Uh, subscribe if you're not. Click the bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.